Hello there, this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Virgo. Hello Virgos, this is going to be your past life -y reading where we're going to do past life cards um, and then also obviously tap into the current energy, okay? So this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Virgos. And let's feel it out. A lot of you guys are doing a lot of past life healing. Getting to the root and shadow of things, right? Getting to the core of it. Getting to the dusty corners and doing deep fucking cleaning. Transportation. Some of you trains in particular is very symbolic or always stands out for you. And it could have been because that was your main mode of transportation in many of your past lives or very important ones that really stick out for you. A lot of you, for some reason, transportation is a thing. Maybe it's this thing like you don't like to drive. You like public transportation or you don't like public transportation, but you don't necessarily like to drive. Transportation here also feels as if like something is on its way. Took the midnight train going anywhere. Journey. There's a sense here of 1800s, very specifically for some of you. Plantation days. You know, even here in Hawaii, right? That's why a lot of us have so much ethnicities within us because of the plantation days. And, you know, here in Hawaii, we also had a, a train. I mean, at most places did. But for some of you, there's something here about that, that 1800s, plantations, you know, trains, things of that sort. Um, hidden, underground. Also, something is on its way to you, and that could be hidden. An arrival. You know, the thing about a train is, is that it's on its tracks and it's only going to go one way. Ah, oh, the orphan. Oh, that is definitely why some of you in this life feel abandoned or have fear of abandonment. Because of the orphan energy, whether you were literally an orphan in past lives or you had this feeling of abandonment. Maybe your parents died early, right? Maybe they were killed. Maybe your parents neglected you and left you. Whatever this is, this orphan energy here is somebody who is waiting for someone to love and protect them. Okay? That's that energy of I'm waiting for someone to protect me and love me. I'm, I'm, some of you could be codependent in this lifetime and that's something you've been battling because you cling to someone, right? Because you latch on, because there's this fear of, 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 of letting go or not having someone. For some of you, it could actually manifest in the complete opposite where you push everyone away and you're a loner in this life because you're not about to like have this, you know, you latch onto someone and they leave you. So you have fear of commitment because of abandonment issues. So you don't trust nobody. Death. Scorpio. Death is also endings that bring new beginnings. That could be what some of you are experiencing currently. This may have been a life journey of transformation. Metamorphosis, right? This may have been a lifetime for you where a lot of doors closed in your face. There have been a lot of endings here. But that's this is the thing. Is that the end is just the beginning. The beginning is just the end. Okay, and this feeling here of death is also when one door closes, five more open, but it's the perspective. If you're not looking up and looking for these five, you know, five doors that have opened, and you're still looking at the one that is closed, then you're not going to see it. It's going to miss you. There's also something here about hidden. Again, I felt that with the transportation hidden because death is what lays beneath the surface, right? It's plutonic. It's underworld. So underworld, underground, underground railroad, okay? That could be very symbolic for some of you in past lives as well. The tower. Tower is sudden and unexpected. It is absolutely divine intervention as well. The tower comes in and it wreaks havoc, right? But it does it because it's trying to rearrange shit. It is sudden chaos. It could be sudden change. The tower is also something where it's like... Um, it could be a sudden epiphany. This is, an, but it could also be that something comes out of nowhere. You don't see it coming, or you don't see it leaving. Okay, this is the thing. It's it's quite sudden, very unexpected. Four of Swords. This is prayer. This is 
retreating. This is surrender. Many of you need to surrender. And, and meaning that there is this, maybe for some of you, this sense of holding on to something that has ended. Something here is no longer and you keep holding on to it, right? There's a sense of needing to know when it has expired and when it is over. Otherwise, it's self-sabotage, five of swords. Holding on to something and, and it's expired and no longer good for you or not good for you at all is causing harm. For some of you, again, it's related to the orphan energy, knight of swords. Knight of swords is something quick rushing in. This could be a younger air sign. We have here page of wands, could be a younger fire sign. We also have here the king of cups. Someone who's very emotionally mature. This is what the orphan would crave. A very stable, loving male energy. Because for some, that's what they lacked in their childhood or in past lives, right? They didn't have that. So for some, they're craving that sort of stability. They want someone to love them, right? And so what the thing about the orphan is, is that sometimes they are, they'll, what they love is just love. So they will just latch on to whoever loves them because they love that people love them. It's not necessarily that they love that person, but they love the person that they love love. And the higher, excuse me, the high priestess and the ace of swords, truth, clarity. See, the high priestess is intuition, right? It's being really like tapped in. She's a real, real bad bitch. She's real tapped into the unknown and the unseen and real spiritual and shit, right? So some of you are highly fucking intuitive. I mean, you're Virgo. You're really into, in, intelligent and intellectual, but you're also super hella fucking intuitive if you allow yourself to be. If you have blocks and you block it out, then no, obviously you're not going to be. But there's something here about the truth coming out. Something has been hidden. There has been a secret. She is the keeper of secrets, right? So there's a secret here. What's the secret? Well, that's what you're going to find out. Or is a secret or something that's been hidden from past lives that's being revealed now? It could definitely just be that. But it can also be something in this lifetime that you're going, what the fuck? Three of Wands. Waiting. I've been waiting for this moment all my life. The chariot is Cancerian, right? But the chariot is forward movement. That's basically the train. I've been waiting for this moment all my life. I can feel it coming in the air tonight. Some of you are so intuitive, you can feel it. But you can't see it yet. Why is it that I can feel it, but I can't see it and nothing's here? Because you an intuitive bitch. So we see it before it comes. Because, you know, it's really just what it is. Ah, oh, the house. So there's this sense of protection and of safety and of family and of shelter and of home and roots that's what the orphan doesn't have right the orphan doesn't have that sense of stability so some of you in this life or in past lives grew up in a household where there was no stability you didn't have that safety and protection and that could be what what really fucks you up in this life right some of you all you seek is safety and protection some of you self-sabotage that because you're so used to chaos and so used to having that feeling of stress and whatever that you almost created in this life and it's totally self-sabotage. You have the wine. You had me at Merlot. The wine is developing over time. It's also family legacy. So you have two cards here talking about family. The good stuff ripening in age as well. <sighs> oh. The Empress, which is the goddess of love, Venus. A lot of you guys have been practicing self-love. You're recognizing that it's not about physical beauty. Because if I'm beautiful on the inside, I'm beautiful on the outside. You, you have a glow to you, right? You're glowing with self-love and you're taking care of yourself. But this is also about attraction and attractiveness in, in yourself and others. It's grace, it's charm, it's beauty, it's love, it's relationships, it's art, it's magnetism and abundance and pleasure and happiness. So some of you guys are, it's been a long time coming, all of this deliciousness in this Empress card. That's what has been developing over time for some of you. Because it's like, well, I don't have none of that shit. And it's like, yet. Yet. Something's taking a little bit longer to come. And that's okay. Listen, the longer it marinate, honey, the, the juicier and, and more delicious and tastier it is, right? The trophy. 
The trophy is recognition. So some of you are being really self-aware of things. The trophy is victory, it's success, it's winning, it's goals, it's fame, it could be ambition and achievement. So there's this sense in this life of you always wanting to be on top, always wanting to win, always wanting to do well. You know, there's this extreme competitive competitiveness in some of you. All right, let's do some Kipper fortune telling deck poverty. It kind of ties into the orphan. Some of you had a really rough start at life in this life or past lives. Some of you here may have been really poor and experienced a lot of struggle financially. Some of you here are afraid of that in this life, even if you've never experienced it because of past lives okay imagine you were a young orphan living on the streets or in orphanages and you had nothing you you barely had clothes you had one set of clothes one pair of clothes to change into and here we have the thief fear of someone taking something from you fear of being left alone fear of lack lack of things mature woman some of you had a mature woman in your life or you crave that, that's that mother energy, that's that grandmother energy. So if those of you had this in your life, then you, it could have been like, because your parents abandoned you, you just had your grandma. Or an aunt, right? Or someone in your life that was this mother figure, okay? And then for some of you, this is what you craved. You craved that grandmother energy. You never experienced it. And this is that that lack of with the orphan, right? She didn't have somebody to take care of her. He didn't have someone to take care of him. And it's this sense of like a yearning for protection and shelter. And, you know, I love my grandmas. This is my mom's mom. She was mainly Portuguese and my dad's mom's Japanese, right? And so I loved my grandmas. They were just both so fucking amazing. But most of you know how close I was with this one because I just lost her a few years ago. You know, my other grandma, I was really young when I, that when she died, I was like 18. So I've had a lot of muggle years with this one. And so I know I'm telling you now, without my grandma, I don't know where the fuck I would be. So there's that, 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 and it could also be even a spirit guide or angel as well too, like an ancestor who has passed. Someone here that was this presence in your life, the family room, everything in your energy and your reading screams family. That support that you want. Some of you crave this. Some of you, want, and some of you have real close ties to your family possibly in this life. And there's that fear of that, like, okay, I come from a really great household. My parents aren't divorced. Or, or, or if they are, whatever it was. But like for you, this is your fear of you and your partner. Like I fear that like I'm going to get married and, and have kids and then fucking be divorced and single and my kids have to like live like that. And it's like this fear of that for some of you. Mm, lightning, sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, and transformation. It's sudden, all right. But what is it? Well, it's yet to be seen, honey. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this reading. I want to remind you guys that on my website, saltwaterheelstarot.com, you may pre-order my remixed I Am Love bracelet. Half rose quartz, half amethyst. And you see it has this gorgeous Celtic knot heart on there. It's really stunning. Also on my website, you may pre-order my daughter's second bracelet that she came out with, which is the Sakura Cherry Blossom Flower Agate Beads. They're fucking stunning, I'm telling you. And they're both pre-orders to be received sometime next month in March. So again, saltwaterheelstarot.com. But also in my description box below, that's that upside down triangle on the bottom right here. If you click on that, all of my information is there, but also my link to my Patreon is there. And for those that love when I do the erotic tarot readings, on Patreon, I only do erotic tarot readings. And they're absolutely different from the ones you rent from my website. This one, there's no extended here for these readings I'm doing. So don't look for it for the extended. But on Patreon, it's a whole nother beast, okay? And also follow me on Instagram and TikTok. It's XI underscore Missy underscore XI. And please be careful of the fake fraudulent accounts on both pretending to be me. I don't have backup accounts. I don't have second accounts. I have one on each XI underscore Missy underscore XI, okay, you guys? So I hope you enjoyed this reading. Thank you for your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions here on YouTube. Love you.